Wow. You certainly look like you're having fun when you're performing that for us. Oh, yes. Yeah. You. What kind of songs do you like to play on your guitar? Oh, what kind of songs? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, I like playing recent songs, mm -hmm. you know, I listen... Such as? Uh, Your recent I, favorites. My recent favorite? Yeah. Uh, the, that James Morrison song I've been mm -hmm. hearing a lot, so yeah. I, I cover that. All right. Sometimes, uh, some Jason Raz, uh -huh. some Coldplay, yeah. and then some oldies as well. You know what, uh, we're going to listen to your song Reminisce in just a little bit. Uh, I, like I said, I heard the song in the office over and over again, actually, because I really liked it that much. Oh, okay. Um, it kind of has this, like, reggae feel, reminiscent of Sublime, and uh, your vocal structure actually reminds me of the Beatles a little bit. What sound do you think best describes your band? Oh, okay. Um, I would say, first of all, as a singer-songwriter, mm -hmm. uh, mixed in a big pot of like, classical, jazz, reggae, folk, funk, mm -hmm. pop, rock, all, wow, that all these. that is an eclectic mix of sounds, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you bulk and bop it, and then you got me. <laughs> right, that's it. It's very tasty. Very tasty. Yes. So, um, when you write songs, does everyone in your band, you said there are five members in your band currently, yeah. do they all have an input in it? Uh, most of the time they're, they're, they're spent struggling to figure it out. You know, <laughs> these, these songs of mine aren't really easy to learn right. at first, so mm -hmm. it takes them quite a while to figure it out. But awesome. after a while, it's pretty rewarding. Right. Do you have any other songs that you'd like, uh, you would like to play for us tonight? Even just a little bit, not the whole song. Other songs? Yeah. Even uh, just a little taste of uh, what you like to play these days, or what you like to listen to these days, or maybe even some of your personal favorites. Uh, okay. Just I a can, little I can taste, do some Stevie perhaps. Wonder if you want. Awesome. Oh, 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 Less than one minute old. I can't believe what God has done to bring joy to everyone. Isn't she lovely, made from love? Yay. You know what? We got some text messages. Want to hear them? Uh, sure. <laughs> I have many fans already. Look here, uh, wow, his singing is melting my mind. Awesome. That was from 43979. Thank you for the text message. 1424 says, wow, can I dare say this? Much better than Maroon 5. I love it. Oh, okay. 1424, thanks for texting. Um, yeah, you already have a lot of fans tonight. So, thank you for that, by the way. Oh, that was thank awesome. you. Stevie Wonder is always great to listen to. Oh, I agree. Definitely. Um, I have another question for you. Can, do you think internet fans can uh, actually lead to a viable career for indie bands? Uh, I think it can. Yeah. I mean, there's an example of, there's this female singer in the mm -hmm. States. Um, she posted a video of her performing online. Yeah. And someone discovered her and got her signed. And that guy was uh, Justin Timberlake. You know, he wow. signed this, this, this young lady. Mm -hmm. And she was the first act on his uh, new record label roster. Right. So, so you think like it's totally viable? Of course, it can always happen. Uh, you've mentioned that you perform uh, in Hongdae all the time. That's right. That's right. And uh, can you tell us some differences or s maybe similarities you've noticed between the Canadian and Korean indie scene? Uh, okay. Um, well, the Korean indie scene, you know, it's more focused on like the hip hop, right? Mm -hmm. And aside from that, you know, the indie bands like rock, you know, not that, not that popular, but there is uh, a following. Mm -hmm. And well, in Canada. I can tell you, like, when I look at a Canadian audience, I know they're Canadian because they're oh, all really? standing and clapping yeah. and they're, they're showing their emotions. Whereas? Whereas in Korea, they all give you that blank look and they're sitting down. Uh -huh. and this is not just uh, live. I've seen those uh, programs. Do you think maybe TV. it's a cultural thing? I, I think it's definitely cultural. Cultural. Yeah, it's like, for them, it's like watching a movie, mm -hmm. you know, so... I just play along with it. And uh, how do you feel when you're up on stage performing in uh, front of a live audience? When's the first time you actually did that, by the way? Uh, in front of a live audience? Yeah. Uh, in high school, uh, you know, when I uh, first performed, uh -huh. it was uh, on stage in my uh, high school auditorium. Yeah. Do you remember uh, which piece you performed?